invest the upcoming 15 minutes and allow me to help you to learn study and revise the complete chapter of chemical bonding the backbone chapter of inorganic chemistry where i will be discussing approximately 15 questions covering all the probable concepts and logics that nta loves regarding chemical bonding if you want these lecture notes and stay updated for your j examination scan this qr code and join our whatsapp channel pw j english so without further ado let's get started yeah so to begin with the first question says which of the following is least ionic now in ionic compound covalent nature is can be calculated and as estimated using the famous fazan's rule which says covalent nature in ionic compound increases when if you have d block cation then all the d block cation that have pseudo inert gas configuration as in configuration like ag plus where the they have completely filled d sub shell so they have very high z effective why because shielding of these d and f electrons are very poor so d block cations have very high polarization power of cation and therefore they are always more covalent salts among all the given ionic salts mostly now what else sir polarization power of like you have to calculate polarization power for s block elements or p block elements cations then how to do it calculate their polarization power is calculated using their charge density what is charge density ratio of charge upon size first we give priority to charge and if charge is equal then smaller cation will have high polarization power and high polarization power that means high covalent nature and last is for anions bigger larger will be the anions more is their polarizability so more will be the covalent nature so among the given options that we have ag plus will be the salt which will be having highest covalent nature moving to next question which says among these salt which is having highest melting point now sir we already discussed fazan's rule and we know if a salt is having more covalent character it will have less ionic character so it will have less ionic character it will have less of these properties which an ionic compound is supposed to have now if i compare licl and nacl then as per fazan's rule because li plus cation will have more covalent nature therefore na plus will have less covalent nature that is more ionic nature that means its melting point will be high but sir how will you compare that for alkali metal chlorides it is the delta h lattice is decreasing down the group because that's why we are comparing these two because we are thinking that down the group the delta h lattice as a melting point of metal chloride is decreasing why because delta h lattice is also predominantly decided by the charge density charge being same as size of alkali metal cation increases delta h lattice decreases definitely correct so if this is decreasing then melting point will also decrease so who should have highest melting point licl but why licl is losing battle only from nacl because of high covalent nature and why it is high that you can only understand using fazan's rule so a very good question moving forward now now if you want to check ionic nature in a covalent molecule then you have to check its dipole moment what is dipole moment let's say i have a polar molecule hf then its electric dipole moment is calculated by the formula charge into distance between charge what is charge sir this is partial positive delta minus delta plus it is partial plus 1 and minus 1 so what is the magnitude of charge electronic charge what is the distance between charges bond length both these values are given so we can calculate this dipole moment but this dipole moment we have calculated through theory so it's a theoretical value of electric dipole moment which we have calculated now if we have gone to mother nature we have seen what is the actual value the question is also supplying you with the actual dipole moment take the ratio multiply by 100 and it will give you the percentage ionic nature and remember one thing electric dipole moment is a vector quantity with direction from positive to negative so in such questions when you are to, you are have to 
compare which is more co which is more polar covalent molecule then we will think about the polarity vectors of electric dipole moment and obviously in the given options you can clearly see c bond f sir it will be most polar so over here it the dipole moment vector is getting added while over here the c bond f vector i mean not completely but these vectors some of these components will be cancelling each other because it is more or less a transformation of these geometrical isomers whereas this is cis as in in the same direction the dipole moment vector which you can clearly see from the picture which i have made here the net dipole moment will be getting added up so c will be having the most dipole more more magnitude of electric dipole moment vector now the next question says among the mixture which of the following is having in dipole dipole attraction now we know all state of matter are attracted to each other through some inter intermolecular forces of attraction now let us check what intermolecular interaction they have benzene is a non polar molecule ethanol is a polar molecule in fact it is having strong hydrogen bonding attraction so these molecules will have what interaction this dipole will induce a dipole in that non polar molecule so interaction will be dipole induced dipole not dipole dipole option b which is our answer this is ch3cn a polar molecule this is acetone another polar molecule so it will also have a permanent dipole it will also have a permanent dipole interaction will be termed as dipole dipole interaction in option c this is our answer but discussing others also kcl is an ionic compound will furnish k plus and cl minus ion water is a polar molecule in fact hydro it has capacity due to hydrogen bond so what interaction they will have they will have ion dipole interaction last option is benzene we already seen non polar uh, ccl4 is a perfect tetrahedral geometry so net dipole moment vector mu net over here will also get cancelled because every symmetrical system although individual bonds are pol polar but the net vector addition of the molecule becomes zero and therefore the overall molecule having symmetrical structures is always zero so this also becomes a non polar molecule and therefore interactions are this is also non polar this is also non polar so how will they attract let's say this one will create an instantaneous dipole so and that instantaneous dipole will induce a dipole in that in the another non polar molecule so interaction between them is termed as instantaneous dipole dipole interaction commonly known as london dispersion forces so our answer is b for this particular case but j loves this also which force of attraction is strongest and what is the relationship between that particular force and the distance between constituents this is also a very famous and a j nta loves this concept now first of all let us categorize them whatever forces which we have studied that is if i am known non polar how will i attract another non polar molecule or any charge because i can develop some instantaneous dipole so these all forces are commonly termed as van der waal forces of attraction which is the weakest intermolecular force followed by dipole dipole attraction because permanent dipole plus minus will always attract permanent dipole plus minus but what is the extreme case of dipole dipole attraction sir hydrogen bonding strongest bond strongest intermolecular force even also can be regarded as a chemical bond because strength is so high sir how will we know this statistically we have seen the energy for hydrogen bond has a ratio of has a relationship with the distance between constituents as 1 upon r for dipole dipole it is 1 upon r cube although this is for stationary dipole but for means you just learn this that it is inverse it is inversely proportional to 1 by r cube and van der waal forces are weakest because energy is proportional to 1 by r raised to the power 6 so th these interaction forces are weakest again talking about hydrogen bonding who has the capacity to bond to have strong hydrogen bond o bond h n bond h and f bond h so let us check which of them with which of these molecules have hydrogen bonding between them sir o bond h so this will have hydrogen bonding option 1 uh water definitely second no this is hydrocarbon so non polar 
benzene non-polar this will also have hydrogen bonding although intramolecular hydrogen bonding because intramolecular hydrogen bonding is always operational when a cyclic chain can be formed so ortho isomers can form cyclic chain so this will also be this also can do hydrogen bonding hf also can do hydrogen bonding nh3 so our answer will be five moving to the next question you attempt i'm moving aside so i hope you attempted it and such questions are very 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 probable for j means so out of these followings the one with non zero dipole moment and the central atom having maximum number of lone pairs so let us decode each of them through vsetr theory so for so2 in order to calculate hybridization what we calculate steric number steric number is summation of bond pair which is only sigma bond and lone pair so steric number for so2 is 3 hybridization is sp2 geometry is trigonal planar but shape because of lone pair we do not see that lone pair we only see nucleus with respect to other nucleus so shape is just v shape or bend shape so yes because it is not a symmetrical structure so it will have a net dipole moment so its mu net is not zero and therefore it's a polar molecule so lone pair it has is one but we have to give hybridization of that molecule which has highest number of lone pairs so let us check all the options what lone pair they have whatever is having highest lone pair and a polar molecule with mu net not equal to zero that will be our answer so sp2 is for this but let us check for nf3 and nh3 both hybridization is steric number is 4 so hybridization is sp3 and both are no, both are polar molecule with shape of trigonal pyramidal but one more important thing i'm telling you the net vector addition of nf3 is getting cancelled while for nh3 it is getting added up so if you, somebody is asking you this is among ammonia and nf3 which is more polar so it is also a very famous question nh3 is more most polar among these two so but not asked but a very important point now xcf2 now it is sp3 dehybridized because it is having three lone pair so these lone pair will go in the equatorial position because lone pair has to be there has to be kept at maximum distance so they always occupy equatorial position in a trigonal bipyramidal geometry but what is shape uh, shape with respect to nucleus we see so shape is a linear molecule so because it's a linear molecule therefore net dipole moment will get cancelled so it becomes a non-polar molecule and we are asked polar so this is our answer clf3 with hybridization sp3d and maximum number of lone pair it has is two that's why because maximum number of lone pair this guy is having therefore this will be our answer so our answer will be sp3d why because sf4 is also given although it is also a polar molecule but number of lone pair sf4 has is one its shape is its geometry is trigonal bipyramidal but its shape is seesaw or pi shape molecule let us check and attempt this another question i hope you got your answer so number of species having non zero dipole moment are 5 and those species are non polar moving to next question pause attempt and these questions are also very easy as per vscpr theory so brf5 and xcf4 that is option d are species having square pyramidal geometry with steric number six and presence of one lone pair attempt this question pause i hope you got this answer also option answer is option a statement a b c are correct because ammonia sorry ammonia methane and water all are sp3 hybridized and this ammonia because of presence of lone pair acts as a lewis base which forces water to act as lewis acid moving to the next question pause and attempt i hope you got the number of linear as per vscpr theory over here six molecules are linear people make mistake in this no2 but no2 because of the presence of odd electron is not linear it is bent shaped molecule now let us attempt this question from molecular orbital theory i hope you got your answer because it will be a crime of not taking marks from such question answer is no to NO plus because NO 
what follow what electronic configuration of molecular orbital they follow sigma 2pz is filled first followed by pi 2px and pi 2py so its bond order for no will be 2.5 for no plus i'll remove this electron because it's an anti bonding electron so bond order will increase to 3 so bond order is increasing and from paramagnetic it has become becoming diamagnetic only for nitrogen you will follow the only thing you have to remember is these two molecular orbitals get interchanged pi 2px is filled first and then after that sigma 2pz and uh, sigma 2pz and uh, n2 when becomes n2 plus it becomes from paramagnetic it becomes uh, from diamagnetic it becomes paramagnetic a very very religious molecular orbital diagram you should follow now attempting one more question from mot for heteroatomic molecule let's try to solve this let us summarize mot again for homonuclear molecules having number of electrons lesser than 14 or maybe for lighter molecules like n2 we follow mot of nitrogen for lighter molecules also and for homonuclear diatomic molecules having electrons more than 14 like for oxygen and f2 we follow mot of o2 actually mot of heteronuclear molecules are not in our slavers for j but still j loves so actually what we do is we check the neutral molecules like in case of no no has number of electrons more than 14 it has number of electrons 15 we check of the neutral molecule and then make cation ion of that neutral molecule so because no has total electron 14 uh, 15 no and uh, because it is 15 so we will follow mot diagram of oxygen hence this will we have already done this so bond order of no plus will be 3 now for co actually for no also because participating atomic orbitals differ in energy so this is a generalization we are making and similarly when we make generalization for co number of electron is 14 so we should follow mot diagram for n2 but actually what happens for co especially is because carbon and oxygen have dissimilar energies of combining atomic orbitals so what changes what change is proposed in this case is actually this sigma all the anti bonding molecular orbital becomes of higher energy and after sigma 2s pi 2px pi 2py and sigma 2pz comes and post these bonding molecular orbitals uh, energy of anti bonding molecular orbital come although if you do not even know this if you just follow this rule that for 14 we will do electronic configuration of molecular orbital following nitrogen so then also then also you will get your bond order to be three so summation will be six but i guess you should know it for some good questions so moving to the moving to the last question now let us attempt this one yes so i hope you got your answer for this beautiful example of back bonding which clearly says that trimethylamine is a simple sp3 hybridized nitrogen atom which is a strong base because of lone pair of on nitrogen atom but if instead of carbon i have this silicon over here then this silicon has empty d orbital in which the lone pair of nitrogen can be easily coordinated so there, this is a clear case of back bonding and due to this back bonding sometime bond will be over here sometime here sometime here so these three resonating structures suggest the shape of nitrogen is trigonal planar because lone pair is not available in the central atom and therefore it is definitely a weaker base so our answer will be beautifully option a so this is me gaurav singh arora signing off with all the best wishes and we'll meet in the next chapter